Hey, what's up guys? Tyrone Bray here, founder of Titan Health and Performance, and welcome to this week's health tip. You may recall from my last video where I spoke about why protein is important, the fact that I mentioned it's very rare I will get a new client come to me for their nutrition and lifestyle that's already consuming enough protein on a daily basis. Basically what we're going to do today is give you a simple chart that we use to get people started. Now ultimately everything ends up getting broken down and becomes completely individualized based on somebody's goal and their activity levels etc. But initially rather than get too complex with a client, we just simply show them this chart which I will show you guys shortly and they basically just use this chart as a reference to work out how much protein they should be having in each of their main meals. Now by main meals I'm simply referring to uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Of course some people snack in between but just for the main meals initially that's all we're really concerned about. We show them this chart, show them how to use it and basically that's how they get started on increasing their protein intake to make sure that they're obviously eating enough each day. So if you guys check out this chart you will see that it's a pretty simple system we use here in order to identify how much protein you should be eating on a daily basis or with each meal. Now, as you can see, for a non-active male, we recommend that you consume one and a half palm-sized servings of protein per main meal. As I mentioned, main meal, just referring to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And a non-active female would simply consume three quarters of a palm-sized serving with each of her main meals. Now, of course, when somebody's active, their protein needs are going to be um, increased because they will obviously be breaking down tissues and proteins during their workouts. So with these individuals, we recommend that uh, an active male would consume two palm size servings of protein per main meal and an active female would consume anywhere between one and one and a quarter palm size servings of protein per main meal. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple system we use and there's no need to work out total amount of calories in a food, the total amount of protein in each food, your body weight, your body composition or anything like that. You simply look at the chart, look at your palm and prepare that much protein based on obviously your palm size. Nobody else's, just simply your own because obviously then it's, um, it's adapted to your body size. So obviously the amount you're getting is going to be relevant to you. And as I say, once we get deeper into people's uh, nutritional lifestyle and their goals, etc., we tweak it further. But initially, this works out to be a you know a good uh, a good place to start to make sure that somebody's at least eating enough protein, so that they aren't deficient, and obviously none of their bodily functions are are suffering through lack of protein. Now, with proteins, if you're unsure what they are, as I mentioned before, that's your meats, your fish, your eggs your dairy, your nut seeds and legumes. So for instance, if you look at your palm, which for most people is approximately, one palm would be around one chicken breast. So for instance, if you're an inactive male with your breakfast, your lunch and your dinner, you would just make sure, all oh right, one and a half palm size, which is roughly one and a half chicken breast. So you would prepare that much of a protein portion with your breakfast, your lunch or your dinner, whichever meal you're having the chicken with, and you make sure you're doing this for all of your meals, regardless of what the protein source is, you just make sure you're having that serving size. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully this has helped you know with regards to protein and how much you should be eating, and as I say, it's a good place to get you guys started. As always, any questions or concerns, comments, etc, post them below this video over at titanhealth.com, and I should get back to you guys as soon as I can. And of course, feel free to share any insights, or you know, perhaps you have your own protocols with regards to protein. Feel free to leave those comments also, and as I say, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, why not subscribe? And of course, feel free, as always, to share this video with all of your friends or family, or anybody that you feel may benefit. And if you'd like additional health and or performance advice that I only share via email, get yourselves over to titanhealth.com and sign up for email updates.